Canada mass stabbing police search for two suspect after 10 killed across Saskatchewan. Latest updates. As the Canadian province of Saskatchewan prepares to wake for a new day, here is where things stand. 10 people were killed, at least 15 wound, in a spate of stabbing in 13 locations across Indigenous community and a nearby village in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan on Sunday. Police first began receiving reports of stabbing around 5.4 a.m. on Sunday in the James Smith Green Nation community. Reports of additional attack quickly follow in the nearby village of Walden, northeast of Sakatoon. Both communities are sparsely populated with 3,400 and 200 people respectively. At least 15 people were taken to the hospital. Although there may be additional injuries victim who transported themselves to various hospital. Rhonda Blackmore, commanding officer of the Stankachua Royal Canadian Mounted Police, said Mark Oden, a spokesperson with Star Air Ambulance, said two helicopters were sent from Saskatoon and another from Regina. Some of the victims appeared to have been target, but other appeared to have been attacked at random. Blackmore said she did not provide a motive. Police identified the suspect as Damien Sanderson, 31, and Miles Sanderson, 30, and asked them to turn themselves in. Both are said to have black hairs and brown eyes. Though the relationship between them is unclear, the pair were last sighted driving a black Nissan Rouge with license plate 119 MPI in Saskatchewan's capital of Regina, about 200 miles south of the attack in the James Smith Cree Nation and village of Walden. Canada Prime Minister Justin Trudeau described the attack as horrific and heartbreaking. In a statement of support to families of those killed, the attack in Saskatchewan today are horrific and heartbreaking, he said in a tweet. Trudeau later vowed that those responsible for today's abortions attack must be fully brought to justice. Trudeau said the government of Canada has been in direct communication with the James Smith Cree Nation community leadership and is ready to assist in any way we can. The Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nation, which represent First Nation Group of Saskatchewan, released a statement offering its deepest condolences and celerities after the attack. Our heart breaks for all those impacted. This is a destruction we face when harmful illegal drugs invade our communities, Chief Bobby Cameron of the FSIN said in the statement. Chaka State Passing Chief Kelvin Sanderson, one of the elected leader of the three communities that make up the James Smith Cree Nation, spoke of the impact the attack that had on those close-knit community. Everyone's been affected. They were our relatives, friends. Mostly, we are all related here, so it's pretty hard. It's pretty horrific, he told the Associated Press. Three victims have been identified, according to friends and family members who spoke with local media. Wes Peterson, a 77 years old widower who frequently helped out his neighbor, was reportedly killed. He didn't do anything. He didn't deserve this. He was a good, kind-hearted man. Walden resident Ruby Work told the Associated Press, Lana Head, a mother of two, and her partner were also reportedly killed. Head's former partner Michael Brett Burns told APTN News that Head's and her current male partner died of their wounds. The spat of stabbing cross Saskatchewan on Sunday is among the deadliest mass killing in Canadian history. In 2020, a man disguised as police officers shot people in their homes and set fire across the province of Nova Scotia, killing 22 people. The attack became the deadliest gun rampage in Canadian history. In 2019, a man used a van to kill 10 pedestrians in Toronto. Attack of such a nature are less common in Canada than in the United States, and deadly mass stabbings are more rare than mass shooting. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.